Hello there, this is an open back claw hammer banjo, five strings, tuned to G, and the sort of thing we play on it is... And that's called claw hammer banjo, or frailing banjo. And let's just say, for sake of argument, you fancy having a try at this, but you don't have one of these instruments and they can be fairly expensive and this is a pretty decent one. Is there any way you can do this without owning a claw hammer or fraining open back banjo? And the answer is yes, I'm going to show you how to do it today. Now I'm sure you'll recognise this little instrument, it's a ukulele, this one's shaped a bit like a guitar but just the same as a ukulele banjo and it's tuned in the normal all dogs have fleas which is a uh, a G, C, E, A, so it's got this high G, a C, an E and an A. I want to show you how we can change the tuning of a ukulele to give us that frailing claw hammer banjo experience. And you might say to me, well, surely five into four won't go. That is, of course, largely true. Uh, there's nothing to compare with a proper five string banjo, but this will give you the experience uh, of that instrument, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. I've been looking on the internet today. What a lot of people do is they tune this string down a tone. So instead of G, C, E, A, they have G, C, E, G. So the first string and the fourth string are the same. Now on a five string banjo, uh, we have a drone string, a high string. With this method of tuning the ukulele, you don't get the right pitch uh, for that string, but you, you know, it's something you can work with. You can play things like, uh, let me show you O oh, Susanna with this tuning. And you can hear that I'm using that, that top G string, which is the same pitch as that one, as my drone. That's not the same as uh, a five string banjo. That's fine for that, but it's not gonna give you that proper five string uh, claw hammer banjo experience. I also need to say that what I'm gonna show you today won't help you if you want to play bluegrass banjo, because you do need all five strings for that. But this will help you uh, for a, a frailing banjo experience. And you've got a C major tuning there. Now my method is a little bit more complicated, but ultimately, more rewarding. I'm just going to tune this string back up to A. I think my all dogs have fleas tuning. G, C, E, A. So, what can I do? Well, I've got five strings on a banjo and four strings on a ukulele, so obviously one of those strings has got to go. I'm going to show you which one we're going to live without. We're going to live without this string here, string number four, which is the deepest sounding string on the banjo. So we're going to lose that string in our setup. Now this is tuned to G major. Well, I can't tune my ukulele to G major. It would either be way too low or way too high. And if it was way too high, of course, all my strings would break. So I'll show you that I'm going to tune it to the key of B major. I'm going to use a tuner boss tuner to help me. Um, I probably can do this by ear, but just to make sure I'm bang in, I'm going to just check it with my tuner here. So to turn my normal uke tuning into a claw hammer banjo type of tuning, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tune my A string, that's string number one, down a minor third to F sharp. So here it is A at moment. So I now have an F sharp as string number one. I'm going to tune my E string, my second string, down a semitone so it becomes D sharp. Just using my boss tuner here on my leg just to check it. And I'm going to tune my C string, my third string, down a semitone so that it is a B note. So I should have now major there, B, D sharp, it's a bit sharp still, and F sharp. Needs quite a lot of tweaking of course until it settles down. That's roughly there. 
but I've still got this high pitched uh, G uh, string which is no good to me so I've got to and this is the hardest part I've got to tune this string up a major third to B now uh, just a word of warning if you've got a very very cheap ukulele uh, it may not stand it your string might break so I'm just warning you before you start complaining to me that I, I cause you to break your string but this is a pretty good quality uh, instrument and this should tune up to uh, what I want which is B in fact it's going to be an octave higher than this B so it's about as high as I want to take it so there it is so I've got high B low B D sharp and F sharp and that is a chord of B major now if you're a bit worried about that you could tune it down one semitone from that so you tune uh, it to a B flat major chord but this is uh, an ovation what's an applause kind of sort of an ovation ukulele and it's pretty good quality so it's stood that now I can now play uh, my claw hammer style um, on this now there I would normally play that lower string on the banjo but I can get away with it doing that so the open fourth string is the same as the fifth fret of the first string high note that you don't get with that other method of tuning the ukulele for claw hammer tuning so this is a bit slippy this instrument it's not the most comfortable instrument to play if you had a more conventional um, banjo shape or maybe uh, an instrument that doesn't have this irritating annoying sloping back like these ovation type guitars do have or ukuleles in this case do have you might get on better this is a bit awkward and it does tend to slip away from me so with this method you can try out this style of uh, banjo playing this claw hammer or frailing style without actually owning an instrument and of course if you like it i would strongly recommend uh, buying the real thing but at least this gets you into it and uh, it's quite an interesting little idea isn't it so anyway, I hope you found that useful and interesting. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll see me in my next video.